There are three basic laws of relative rock tape. They are the law of superposition, the law of cross-cutting, and the law of inclusions. First, let's define what we mean by relative rock dating. Relative rock dating is where we determine the relative or comparative age of rocks to each other. This means that we know which is older and which is younger, but we don't know exactly how old they are. Determining an exact age of a rock is what's known as absolute or radiometric rock dating. We use relative rock dating laws to determine the relative ages of rock layers or features to each other. Again, we're only able to determine what is older and what is younger. Let's look at each of these three laws. The first is the law of superposition. The law of superposition states that in an undisturbed sequence of rocks, the oldest rocks are on the bottom and the youngest rocks are on top. We can compare this to an analogy of a laundry basket. Each day as you add dirty clothes to that laundry hamper, the layers stack one on top of the other. And as long as this stack is not disturbed, the oldest clothes will be on the bottom and the youngest will be on the top. The same is true with any undisturbed rock sequence. The oldest rocks are on the bottom and the youngest are on top. Let's now look at the law of cross-cutting. This law states that any feature that cuts across the sequence of rocks is younger than everything it cuts. Some of the features that cut across the rock sequence may be a fault or an igneous intrusion, either a dike or a batholith. And these features are younger than any part of the sequence they cut across. Let's compare the law of cross-cutting to tracks in snow or in sand. In this scenario, the older tracks will be covered by younger tracks. This allows us to determine the relative age of those tracks, where those that are on top or are not covered by anything are the youngest, and those that are covered by the most are the oldest. This is also true with any rock sequence with cross-cutting features. Those features are younger than all of the rocks they cut. Finally, let's look at the law of inclusions, or as it's also known, the law of included fragments. This law states that any rock or fragment that's included inside of another rock is older than the rock in which it's included. For example, if we look at this diagram, pieces of rock A are inside of rock B. This means that rock A is older and rock B is younger. This is because rock A had to be around first so that it could be included inside of rock B. An analogy that's similar to the law of inclusions is that of a fruitcake. A fruitcake includes a lot of chunks or other items, and those items or chunks had to be made and bought before they could be included in that cake. So what this means is that those chunks are older than the surrounding cake. The same is also true for rocks. Any rock that's included inside of another rock must be the older of the two. Again, we can use these relative rock dating laws to determine the relative or comparative age of rocks to each other. Again, this only means we can tell which is older and which is younger. We must use something else known as absolute or radiometric rock dating to determine specific ages for specific rocks. But these relative rock dating laws are very helpful in helping us determine the sequence of events that led to rock formation.